We talked about all kinds of life. We talked about all kinds of embodied minds. What do you think is the meaning of it all? What's the meaning of all the biological lives we've been talking about here on Earth? Why are we here? I don't know that that's a that that's a well posed question, other than the existential question you posed before. Is that question hanging out with the question of what is consciousness? And there uh, at a retreat somewhere. Not sure because S sipping pina coladas and because they're ambiguously defined. Yeah. Maybe I, I'm I'm not sure that any of these things really ride on the the correctness of our scientific understanding. But I mean, just just for an example, right? Um, I've 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 always found I, I've always found it weird that uh, people get really worked up uh, to find out realities about their their bodies for 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 example right that you've seen um uh ex machina you've seen that right and so so there's this great scene where he's cutting his hand to find out if, you know if he's full of cock now to me right if 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 i open up and i find out and i find a bunch of cogs my conclusion is not oh crap i must not have true cognition that sucks my conclusion is wow cogs can have true cognition great so right so so it seems to me, I, I guess, I guess I'm with Descartes on this one that whatever whatever the truth uh, ends up being of 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 how is what is consciousness, how it can be conscious, n none of that is going to alter um, my primary experience, which is this is what it is. And if and if a bunch of molecular networks can do it, fantastic. If it turns out that um, there's a there's a, a non corporeal you know soul, uh, great. We can you know we'll study that whatever. But but the fundamental. Um, existential aspect of it is you know if somebody if somebody told me uh today that uh yeah yeah you were created yesterday and all your memories are you know sort of uh fake you know kind of like um uh, like like boltzmann brains right and hume you know hume's skepticism and all that uh well, yeah okay well so so but but here i am now so so let's the experience is primal so it, like that's the that's the thing that matters. So the the backstory doesn't matter. The I think explanation. So. I think so. From a first person perspective. Now, from a third person, like scientifically, it's all very interesting. From a third person perspective, I could say, "Wow, that's uh, that's amazing that uh, that this happens and how does it happen and whatever." But from a first person perspective, I could care less. Uh, like I just it just well, what I've what I learned from any of these scientific facts is okay well i guess then that's uh, that that then i guess that's what is sufficient to to, to give me my uh, you know amazing first person perspective well, i think if you dig deeper and deeper and get a uh, get surprising answers to why the hell we're here it might give you some guidance on how to live maybe maybe i don't know um that would be nice on the one hand you might be right because on the one hand if I don't know what else could possibly give you that guidance, right? So, so you would think that it would have to be that, or you would it would have to be science because there isn't anything else. So, so that's so maybe. On the other hand, I am really not sure how you go from any you know what they call from an is to an ought, right? From any factual description of what's going on. This this goes back to the natural, right? Just because somebody says, "Oh man, that's that's completely not natural. That's never happened on Earth before." I I'm not you know impressed by that whatsoever. I think I think whatever has or hasn't happened, we are now in a position to do better if we can, right? Well, th this also because you said uh, there's science and there's nothing else. There, it's it's really tricky to know how to intellectually deal with a thing that science doesn't currently understand, mm -hmm. right? So, like, the thing is, if you believe that science solves everything, you can too easily in your mind think our current understanding, like we've solved everything, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Like it, it jumps really quickly to not science as a mechanism as as a as a process, but more like the science of today. Like yeah. the, you could just look at human history and throughout human history, just physicists and everybody would claim we've solved everything. Sure, sure, sure. Like, sure. like there's a few small yeah. things to figure out and it's, we basically solved everything. Uh where in reality, I think asking like what is the meaning of life is uh, resetting the palette yeah. uh, of like, we might be tiny and confused and don't have anything figured out. It's almost going to be hilarious a few centuries from now when they look back, 
how dumb we were. Yeah, I 100% agree. So so when I say uh, science and nothing else, I certainly don't mean the science of today because I think overall, I think we are we know very little. I think most of the things that we're sure of now are going to be, as you said, are going to look hilarious down the line. Um, so I think we're just at the beginning of a lot of really important things. When I say nothing but science, I also include the kind of first person, what I call science that you do. So the so, so the interesting thing about, um, I think about consciousness and studying consciousness and things like that in the first person is unlike doing science in the third person, where you as the scientist are minimally changed by it, maybe not at all. So when I do an experiment, I'm still me, there's the experiment, whatever I've done, I've learned something. So that's a small change, but, but overall that's it. In order to really study consciousness, it, it, you will you are part of the experiment you will be altered by that experiment right and whatever whatever it is that you're doing whether it's con, you know some sort of contemplative practice or uh, or or some sort of uh, you know s- 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 psychoactive you know whatever uh you are now you are now your own experiment and you are right and so so i consider i i fold that in i think that's that's part of it i think that exploring um our own mind and our own consciousness is very important i think much of it is not captured by what currently is third person science for sure but ultimately i include all of that in science with a capital s in terms of like a um uh, a, a rational investigation of both first and third person aspects of our world we are our own experiment, yeah. as beautifully put. And uh, when when two systems get to interact with each other, that's a kind of experiment. So I'm deeply honored <laughs> that you would uh, do this experiment with me today. Oh, thanks so Michael, much. Michael, I'm a huge me. fan of your work. Likewise. Thank likewise. you for doing everything you're doing. Um, I can't wait to see the kind of incredible things you build. So thank you for talking today. Really appreciate being here. Thank you.